Hello everyone, welcome to back my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. On today's episode of General Hospital, Joss sidesteps Cam's inquiries, Spencer changes his mind, and Ava hinted at problems for Victor. Trina rushes to Rory as he is being taken into the hallway of the hospital on a gurney. Although Rory claims it was too soon to express his feelings, he is not regretful that she is aware of them. Rory suddenly codes, as Joss, Cam, and Curtis assist Trina, Finn and Portia resettle Rory in a room and shock him with the defibrillator. Soon after, Portia emerges and apologizes to Trina. While Portia is holding Trina, she sobs. Liz informs Finn that he and Portia gave him their all in the emergency room. Finn laments the lack of sufficiency. Rory's things are placed in an envelope by Liz, who also discovers an earring in his coat pocket. Trina wants her mother to say farewell to Rory in the hallways. Curtis points out that the police are currently looking into this. Jordan agrees and sends Dante in to see him with her. Trina is brought in by Dante to see Rory. Liz apologizes and then reveals the hoop earring she found in Rory's pocket. If it is hers, she inquires. Dant collects it as proof when Trina shakes her head. Trina apologizes to Rory for not being able to respond to him with the words she wanted to, and she sobs that she will never be able to. Portia offers to drive Trina home when she departs Rory. As Spencer looks on, Trina leaves because she needs some privacy. Trina visits the chapel and inquires as to how anything here makes sense. She sobs, saying that Rory only wanted to assist people. She queries why God removed him. Cam queries Joss about finding a quiet spot to discuss elsewhere. Trina needs her right away. Joss informs him before leaving. Nicholas and Laura cross paths on the dock. She was going to visit him and Spencer at Windermere. Nicholas clarifies why his son isn't present. She inquires as to Spencer's early departure. She can determine who pulled some strings, Nicholas bets. Why Victor would take the pains to get him out three weeks early is beyond her comprehension. Nicholas explains that Victor believes that making them share a home during the holidays will help them patch things up. Laura acknowledges that Spencer informed her about an incident, but advises speaking with Nicholas as it is his account. Nicholas acknowledges betraying everyone he cares about. She queries whether this has anything to do with Ava or not. They are abruptly cut off by a call from Jordan, who informs Laura about Rory. Laura informs Nicholas that an officer has passed away tonight and that she must visit a hospital. She requests Nicholas' assurance that she won't lose sight of what really counts. Dante displays the lead possible earring to Jordan back at the hospital. Liz, Finn, and Portia are summoned by Jordan. She informs them that when Rory's blood work was examined, snake venom traces were discovered. Dant claims that indicates Esm is back at it. That's impossible, Liz screams out loud. Jordan queries why Esm isn't the hook in her opinion. Liz claims that even Cam doesn't think it's her and she simply doesn't. Cam isn't the only person, Curtis notes, who doesn't think this is Esm's creation. Jordan is greeted by Laura, who expresses her regret for Rory. If Laura has spoken to Nicholas, Liz queries, he was, according to Laura, just returning to Windermere. Liz swiftly departs after asking someone to make sure Cam gets home safely because she has an urgent matter to attend to. In order to stand by Trina, Joss visits the chapel. Trina sobs, lamenting the fact that it's too late to tell Rory what she should have said after he declared his love for her. She is reminded by Joss that even though she wasn't prepared, it doesn't make her a horrible person. Joss said it helps her be sincere. Trina sobs. Honesty hurts, Joss knows that. Joss burns a candle for Rory, and Trina informs him that Ava doesn't think Esm killed the hook. Joss advises them to put their trust in the police to solve the case. Trina is interrupted by Curtis, who requests that she accompany him as he takes her home. Laura encircles Cam and Spencer in the hallway. Spencer says he was going to phone his grandma about his release when all of this happened, and Cam excuses himself. Because he brought Esm to town, Spencer holds himself responsible for what happened to Rory. Laura explains to him that she doesn't hold him accountable for Esm. He is unaware of any actions he has ever taken to win her trust. She claims that when he testified during Trina's trial, despite knowing he would go to prison, he immediately changed his life around. 
He was traveling along a mysterious path prior to then. Cam requests to talk with Joss before accepting Dante's offer to drive him home. Dante allows them some room. She allegedly told Cam earlier that she had something crucial to share. She decides it can wait because all she can think about is Rory. Spencer asks Cam what that was about as Joss departs. He is unsure. Spencer queries his cousin about if he informed their grandmother of his intention to leave town. Since everything has changed, Spencer swears he will not be leaving. Liz tries to phone Nicholas when she is on the pier, but the call is disconnected. She leaves him a message expressing her concern that he is about to fall victim to a trap. Nicholas opens Esm's chamber door in Windermere. He discovers her tree decoration. She claims the angel is all that is required. Liz suddenly enters. Liz asks Nicholas whether Esm might have left tonight as she and Nicola leave. It is impossible, he asserts. She tells Nicholas that a cop was slain tonight by the hook. She sobs as she realizes that they had to give up everything to keep everyone safe from Esmon, who isn't the murderer. Ava listens to the recording of Nicholas confessing to killing Esmon at the gallery on her computer. She dials a number and requests that the person have a listen as she plays the confession. She demands that they arrive at her gallery right away. When Victor arrives, she discovers Ava sipping on a martini. He inquires as to what they are drinking to as she offers him one. She claims that Nicholas's wish has come true, and they are getting divorced. When she informs him that Nicholas and Liz have been having an affair and that she is now expecting his kid, he is taken aback. She says they both are aware that divorces can be amicable or violent. She plays the confession she still has and says the divorce court will hear about it. Victor tells her that Esme is still alive, proving Nicholas' confession to a false crime. He warns that when people inquire why, they will likely assume it was done to keep her safe when Esm fell from the parapet. It will nevertheless, according to Ava, shed light on his dishonest relatives. What does she want, wonders Victor. She displays Nicola's offer to him and advises him to make the situation more appealing. He promises to get back to her with a better offer and says he will. Ava breaks her glass against the wall as he walks away. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel, G&H Update, and stay with us.